I wanted to look at the Afghan war from a different perspective, I think. And um, it's more often seen from the perspective of adults. And I know that a lot of um, young adults have died in, in the conflict. Um, so I thought, who's the best person really to see the war th uh, through, through their eyes? And it struck me that somebody who was uh, more of a healer than a fighter um, would be the right way to go. And um, obviously the female perspective, because that's not often heard from in, in war zones as well. And from somebody who's, who's young, which is also why the, the Young Martyrs group are in there, um, to give another perspective, Afghan uh, dispossessed children, and um, really what they're going through as well. Where did the idea for the Afghan girl come from? That came from the cover of Time magazine some years ago, um, where um, a photographer went and took a picture of a young Afghan girl with very piercing eyes. And you can look it up on the internet, it's, it's all over the place. If you just search for uh, Afghan girl and Time magazine, you'll see her picture and it's so haunting. Um, and that's where she came from. I just wondered what went on in that girl's life, you know, what was behind those eyes, what her story was, why the ragged clothes, and you know, what she must have been through, which uh, kids in, in this country, in America, in Europe, don't go through. Um, so, yes, yeah, th that was quite an inspiring image. Well, it's, it's been very long and very involved, and um, it's been very interesting as well, I think, uh, as a new writer, you don't realize um, what work there probably is still to, to be done because you, you finish your story and you think, great, that's it, I've done it. It's exactly the way I want it and so you send it off. Um, so it's a bit of an eye-opener to, to find that there are still things that need changing. But it's also a great learning process and I've really, you know, I enjoy that side of, of writing, learning more about my characters, um, learning what other people think about them and what they should think and how they should react. Um, so you, I think you learn a lot more about yourself and about your story through the editing process.